Hey, police have released the identity of the officer involved in a deadly shooting. It happened on I-95 in Norwalk last night. Police say they were forced to shoot a man after he attacked people on board a bus with a knife. The highway was shut down for many hours as a result. News 8's A.J. Walker joins us live from the scene in Norwalk for us tonight. A.J. Ann and Keith, state police say that trooper involved is Mark O'Mara, a 10-year veteran with the state police. Now I'm back now at the scene where that horrible incident happened here off I-95 at exit 14. Earlier today, we stopped by a bus station, a different bus, not the same company involved in that attack, but we talked to people who say they have concerns about who they're sitting next to for hours on end because these people aren't being searched and they could be carrying a weapon. Be alert, pay attention, safety starts with yourselves. That's all bus passengers say they can do as they stand with their bags ready for a long trip surrounded by complete strangers. Some people sleep. Early in the morning, they sleep. You know, everybody just kind of jumps on the bus, you know, and there, there's no real regulation of what's going on. Today, I spoke with an official from the U.S. Department of Transportation who tells me it's up to the companies to require identification of passengers and equip buses with surveillance cameras, something that could make buses safer. Do you ever worry or wonder about the people getting on the bus next to you? Well, I've seen a few shady characters, but I'm not really one to judge. I'm not, you know, that unshady looking myself sometimes. After last night's terrifying ordeal on a Dahlia tour bus heading to Mohegan Sun Casino, during which a man was killed after police say a state trooper was forced to shoot him after he began cutting himself and another passenger and later came at a state trooper appearing ready to cut him too. I do feel they should have safer searches on this bus. I do feel they should um, take more safety precautions. Today we watched as passengers loaded a different commercial bus heading for another long road trip. Neither passengers nor their bags were searched. Some tell me after hearing about last night's attack on the Dahlia tour bus, they'll sleep with one eye open, keeping the other eye on who's sitting next to them. And state police say Trooper O'Mara was not injured. As for the other passenger who was cut with that box cutter, Norwalk Hospital is not releasing the condition of that passenger at this time. Of course, we'll stay on top of any developing details. We're now live in Norwalk. A.J. Walker, News 8.